Ladies and or gentlemen, we assemble here today to honor the memory of a former crewmate, Lieutenant First Class Stella Santiago. Her unfortunate death takes place in the shadow of a new community, the dawning of a new life for the aged of our galaxy. Although death is never easy to accept, we must remember that the tragic accident which took her from our midst occurred while she was on duty. If a member of StarCon must perish for some reason, there is no more honorable way. It is part of the oath we recite and take to heart when we pledge our allegiance. I believe her friend, Janitor Second Class Roger Wilco, has a few words he'd like to say. Mr. Wilco? Uh... I only knew Stellar for a short time. I wish I, uh, could have gotten to know her much, uh, much, uh, better. To have had a deeper understanding of this, uh, person. I, I was proud to have called friend. Of my friend, I can only say this. Of all the souls I have encountered in my cleaning, hers were the most sc scuff-resistant. Whoops. <laughs> I must have shot her out into space. Of course, she knows everybody does. There's the right way. Uh... Yep. Where's my clothes? Wow, a message for me. I must be getting popular. I wonder what it is. Roger, help me. I only have a moment. They faked. Stellar, what happened? The picture's gone. You're alive? I need to find out what's going on. Commander Kilbasa, you're going to think I'm crazy, but I've just received a distress message on my compost. And it was from Stellar. Wilco, have you been whiffing cleaning fluid again? I'm absolutely as sane as I've ever been. She's being held on Delta Berxelon by Sharpay. Wilco, do you realize how irrational that sounds? We buried Stellar. You were there. Maybe you need a rest. Take a couple of hours off. Ooh, a couple hours. Sir! We'll go. We have our orders from Starcon, and we'll be carrying them out. Drop it, Janitor. Leave the bridge now, Wilco. I've made my decision. The Vulgars are a peaceful race of brilliant and logical... Thinkers who only real joy in life. These are the holodeck programming controls. Those buttons seem to be self explanatory. I wonder what they do. Don't touch that. We don't know where you've been.
Welcome to Hollow Suite Program 5551212, The Vulgar Nerve Pinch. Despite our reputation for being pacifists, we Vulgars have developed an extremely practical martial arts technique used mainly for defensive purposes. It is called the Vulgar Nerve Pinch. This is a tactile oral maneuver in which the applier pinches the bundle of nerve fibers at the base of the neck while whispering into the victim's ear dialogue from either Tango and Cash or Hudson Hawk. This particular combination of nerve stimuli and loss of cerebral control due to the torturous mantra of movie dialogue results in a searing flash of pain and then unconsciousness. In effect, it is similar to a temporary orally induced robotomy. Victims are soon rendered unconscious for several hours. When they awaken, they will remember nothing of how they came to be unconscious, if they are extremely lucky. I shall demonstrate on my most eager volunteer. You will please to pay attention. Address the subject in this manner. Please to notice the location of my hand as I begin the narcotic chant of cinematic morphine. He mutters something thankfully unintelligible into the ear of the volunteer. Oh, thank you, sir. Maybe you can affect me up with your sister. I have told you after her. And you're like, oh, oh. We're going to have margaritas together. Oh, the two of us get a ho ho. We have fun. Oh, get a hubba hubba going in the wee. And then just like that, we ho ho ho. So, as you can see, it is very effective. If you can apply a proper grip to the neck, it will disable 9 out of 10 neck bearing species. This completes our program. Thank you. I think it is. And we thought the Elvis 1987 poster in our office was tasteless. It's your old non-organic friend, Circuit Sydney. Hello, Roger. Please join me in consuming something. Thanks, Sydney. You seem uptight. Say what? Upright? What are you talking about, Sydney? Uptight was the word. Perhaps that is too archaic a reference for you. It would have been more effective to say that you seem concerned. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I do have a thing or two. Uh, well, at least something on my mind. I am sorry to hear this. I hope your concerns are soon alleviated. Thanks, Sid. I do have to come up with some solutions. Hmm. Sydney, I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. Flame away, Roger. You know I'd give you my right appendage if you needed it. Funny you should say that, Sydney. I kind of have this situation where that very item could come in handy. Really? Well, I was merely saying that uh, metaphorically. You really are a great friend, Sydney. That'll come in real handy. I can't thank you enough, Sydney. Well, if you really are seriously in need of it, I suppose I could lend it to you. <laughs> you will get it right back to me, won't you, Roger? Oh, yeah. You bet your nut flanges, Sydney. Ah, your nut flanges. Funny. It's the right arm circuit Sydney was so kind to loan you. Sydney? I kind of need another favor. I need one of your eyes. Pardon me, Roger. For a second, I thought you said you also wanted one of my eyes. 
I must have my auditory circuits diagnosed. Well, actually, Sydney, I, I could use one of your eyes. Are you certain, Roger? Well, I guess if you really need it. Oh, I do. I really do, Sydney. You're a mechanized lifesaver. You will return them soon, right, Roger? Oh, uh, of course, Sydney. Real soon. Listen, I've got a couple of things I've got to attend to. I'll see you soon. Uh, thanks, Sydney. As long as you say it will be soon, Roger. Oh, yeah. Uh, see you soon, Sydney. <laughs> this is Sydney's left eye. It's soft yet firm. That wouldn't prove fulfilling. I just take. It's a bottle of morphine. Morphine? That was morphine. Gotcha with my fingers in your Kurt Russell. No, you can't get a lie. Gotcha now that you've got a card to believe this is a real job. Oh my god. Oh. So, how come you're not going down? I got you with your mumble jumbo and your hobbit chubby. Oh boy. I, I, if I only could, I would. Jeez. If, why don't you step outside, pal? I got you with this. And, uh, mm, I think I broke a fingernail here. I'm not supposed to do that. Ooh, Mr. Soyant. Soyant green are people. Ooh, look at all that food. And a donut. Gotta have dessert. This is some very fine food, uh, whatever it is. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find it quite to your liking. Heck, it's probably better than what they feed you janitors. <laughs> Live it up! <laughs> oh, that darn light needs to be amplified. I need to contact maintenance. <laughs> While that's an interesting idea, even Dorf would notice that something would be missing where there were two things, the cart and you. So I got the food. There we go. I didn't know there was a time limit. It's one of the interestingly shaped pastries you took from the food cart. Cool. Bobbit kebabs. They whip up some interesting food items in this joint. It's the donut you filched from the food cart. It's a plate of grill hair spaghetti. It's a nice round melon. I remember what this is. It's a rack of Orat. Haven't seen this stuff since Space Quest 1. It's a tuberous growth of some sort from the food cart. These look like something they cleave from the side of Yoda's head. Huh. Now it has some cool ears. The rack of a rat adds a nice touch. 
An interesting idea. Something's starting to take shape. What are you up to, Roger? A touchment of that adds something more to your work in progress. How creative. That's a nice touch. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I see you have a visitor. I'll leave you two alone, but you know the rules. Ten more minutes and they have to leave. Yikes, it's a good thing Dorf's so vain about wearing his prescribed much thicker glasses. That was too close. I nearly dampened an undergarment. <laughs> Enjoy, Mr. Wilco! Oh, the cushy life will be a vague memory after you are sent to one of the labor camps on Daventry 8. Nice work. Sometimes you actually surprise me. Yeah. Shuttle bay entrance. Take this. Good thinking. Donut. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. Okay. Elton John. Yeah, he's out. Okay. Ooh, boy, I got you with my... <laughs> Smooth move. You've got his key ring. Arm. A lot of doors. The shuttle's alarm is now deactivated. Aiming for the shuttle hatch, you missed. But if you just wanted to inspect the hull of the shuttle for micro fractures and embedded particulate matter, you were incredibly successful. Hey, I found the door. Took me a couple tries. Recall. It feels slightly gritty. You suppress an urge to die. 